everybody always says, like, especially in losing weight and changing your life, it's 80% diet, 20% exercise. Right. You cannot exercise your way away from to health if you're eating a poor diet. Let me ask you this. What would you say are some of the top that you would call medicinal foods? Well, things like um, leafy green vegetables uh, are, are incredibly good for you. Um, they, uh, particularly, I'm a cardiovascular surgeon, so... Uh, when you eat leafy green vegetables like kale and collard greens and, and, and spinach, you produce, your body's able to produce nitric oxide, which is uh, the most potent dilator of arteries known. And it's also uh, 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 it's anti-inflammatory for the, for the artery. So it's very, it's a very healthy thing. And uh, so that's great. And then things like blueberries and strawberries and uh you know, there's, there's a, you know, it's hard to pick one. There's so many that, that are, are healthy for you. Let me ask you about this avocados, because mm-hmm. a lot of people say they're high in fat, but they're high in good fat. It's, you know, that's, that's something I'm not totally settled on. I do know that you do need some and I, I, I eat some avocado and I think it's healthy. I think tree nuts are healthy. Mm-hmm. The problem I think is when we overindulge, because um, if you're eating too much fat, then that's not healthy. So right. I, I think a, you know eating a small quantity of tree nuts or avocados every day is, is a really good thing to do. The problem comes when we start snacking on nuts, for example, uh, then we're eating too many. And the same can be said for avocado. You can overdo it. And, and the ultimate food question, to be or not to be, the egg. Eggs and, and animal products in general, I'd never recommend. I think dairy is the worst. Okay. Um, but uh, there's a direct correlation between number of eggs consumed and cardiovascular death. Uh, the choline in, in eggs is associated with an increased risk for prostate cancer, and uh, it's full of, you know, the egg yolk is just full of fat, and uh, I don't recommend it. Dr. Esselstyn at the Cleveland Clinic, uh, who has had remarkable results treating people with really end-stage uh, coronary artery disease and just restoring them to health, he completely prohibits any animal products. Wow. Okay. Now, I think if you're healthy, you can incorporate uh, small amounts of, gra- of you know, pasture-raised beef and, and poultry and some types of fish into your diet. But the mainstay should be plant-based. You should be eating more plants than anything else. And when I say small quantities of, like, pasture-raised beef, um, you know, the, the experts that I've talked to recommend no more than about four ounces twice a week. All right. Well, coming up, and yes. we, I guess we should have started this, but I, but you guys have an event coming up this Saturday where people can get all kinds of knowledge on this topic. Right. We have a new nonprofit in town called Healthy City, and we've got some incredibly talented, passionate people uh, on our board. And the, the goal of our nonprofit is to educate the, the public. Um, if you go to this event, you'll know more than about 99.5% of the doctors in the United States about nutrition. And uh, we're simply not trained uh, um, about nutrition and, and diet in medical school. And you can get a real education if you come. This is almost a unique opportunity. The only other uh, similar program for the public that I'm aware of is in East Texas at Marshall, um, in Marshall, Texas. And so, you know, if you're in Austin, you can't, there, there's nothing like this in Austin. There's nothing like this in Dallas. Right. So uh, we're very fortunate to, to have it here. It's very affordable. It's all day on, on Saturday, and you can buy tickets at the Wagner Noel website. And we've brought in uh, some really amazing speakers to talk about the benefits and uh, the impact that you can expect to have on your health, but also uh, some practical tips about how to actually uh, 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 transition to a plant-based diet. And wow. we have quite a few people in town that are already doing this and we're seeing some just some transformed lives and people that are just getting healthy, getting off of their medications and becoming healthy. And that's uh, that's not something that we expect to see a lot of times as physicians. We see people that are uh, sort of dealing with their chronic disease and we kind of help them and they get um, you know better but not well. We're seeing people get well.